In this video, we will be showing you how to use the new Brother software that is called Design Database Transfer to send designs wirelessly from your computer to your embroidery machine. Now this software is completely free and you can download it pretty much immediately, which I will be showing you. Um, but this method will only work with Brother embroidery machines that are Wi-Fi compatible. That is to say that they have a wireless chip kind of built inside of them. Um, so this wireless transfer method is used as an alternative to using a USB. If you've already used USBs for transferring your designs in the past, you may already know that sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. Issues that you can run into are maybe if your embroidery machine is in a different room to your computer or you know maybe it's even upstairs and so that means that you're having to make multiple trips backwards and forwards between the two or possibly you may have experienced owning a USB that just decides one day to completely stop working and if you don't have a spare on hand to replace it um, just these general kind of inconvenient scenarios that this new wireless method completely eliminates which is really nice so thank you to brother for releasing this nifty new software for free for all of us to use and I'll be showing you how to make the best of it now today in this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get the software onto your computer. So you type the link into the address bar here at the top and I have put a copy of the link in the video description which will take you to this page on the Brother website and you pick your operating system. I'm on Windows 10 then we press OK and then you've got a huge long license agreement that you can read through. Just scroll through that one and accept, agree, and your download should start automatically. Comes up in the top right hand corner. Uh, there is further instructions on this page about your system requirements and everything. You can read through that. It does have some instructions. Then we open the file. And once we open the file, it will ask us what language, I'm speaking English, and then I accept the license agreement, allow brother to collect usage data and hit install. That's going to install the program. Now, once that's finished, it'll put an icon on your desktop. Just double click that to open the software. So this is Design Database Transfer. You should see this screen or something very similar to it. In the top bar, you've got Network Machine Settings, or you can just click the little icon here. It's going to bring up a list of all the machines that you have added to your list. Mine are already there because I had done this in advance, but you can delete machines from this list if you want. That one's gone now, so I can press add and it will find any machines on the same Wi-Fi network as my computer. So I can just re-add it, add machines to that drop-down list and those are ready for me to send embroidery designs to. So now we want to navigate to the folder where you have your embroidery designs. So you've kind of got like your desktop there, that's where my designs are. And I put them under the folder toilet paper designs just for convenience. And now I do have a few here. So you can see it will default bring up a tile view where you can see all of the thumbnails and the pictures of the designs and then you have got the extensions and because I bought this pack there's lots of different kinds. I'm looking for Pez um, so you can see if I make it small thumbnails I can't see the file extension so I'm actually going to bring it to the details tab and then I've got all the kinds of details like the stitch count, the colors, the type of embroidery file that it is. So now I can just scroll all the way down to PEZ files and I only want the designs for the 4x4 inch hoop so I can select those by holding control and click to select multiple designs. Then I come down and I press the little downward arrow and that puts it into the right area for it to be sent to my machine. Then I go to the next folder scroll down, find those PEZ designs and select all the 4x4 with the control click button, press the blue arrow again, I've brought them down into that area ready to be sent to the machine. I go to the next folder, do a bit of the same. Now there's no 4x4 in here so I just kind of move on. Check this one. Still no 4x4 in this one so I'm going to move on. Now this one I can't see the entire name of the file so I use this little ruler to make it larger so I can actually read the entire name of the file. Uh, still no 4x4, I go on to the next folder and I just go all the way through until I have all the designs that I want. Now in this area you can actually remove files so you can just right click like I did there and just remove from the writing list so I don't really want the one that says fart zone 
um, and I don't want any sort of yucky looking ones so I just go through and kind of remove those and um, yeah once I'm happy with all of the designs that are there I hit the transfer button and it'll take a little moment just for that blue bar to go all the way across just wait a second and then that's done it says it's finished so we'll go over to the embroidery machine So now we've come over to our luminaire that I've sent my designs to. I go into embroidery and I hit the little pocket and then I will want to click the Wi-Fi symbol icon. And once I go into there, I can see all of the designs that I just sent from design database transfer. So those are all in there. Um, you can scroll through and see all of those. Um, and yeah, all that we need to do is just select one, hit set, and that is there in the embroidery area ready for us to pretty much embroider out. So that is all there is to it.